Hello and welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, keep it now. Nah. <laughs> you're keeping that. Nah. Take two. <laughs> no, fuck, take two. You're doing that. Go again. <laughs> I want to recite the little beep when we play laughter. We're going to have that in. No, you keep it. Nah, stay in. Hello, it and, hello and welcome to Fat Pod. Here's Daddy and I'm Stephen, and we've already fucked up before we even started. <laughs> <laughs> but this is uh, a. Um, this is going to be probably a, a shorter video than normal, but no one else will drag it on. Yeah. Um, we recently went to Nottingham in the UK, or the UK, Uck. as Danny likes to say. Um, why do I keep doing the weird posh like, like, to a say? I, I have no idea. I don't know what that head whip was all about. <laughs> all right, you then. <laughs> all right, um, Yeah. So we recently went to Nottingham, and we hit up some comic book shops. We hit up some um, merchandise shop. Was it merchandise shop? Um, we we filmed some stuff while we was out there, so this video is going to be integrated with that actual footage of us bumming around. I'm pretty sure there's a video of me eating a burger and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, just generally, uh, we were on a bit of a toy hunt, but the problem is, um, we've got some of the stuff to show you, but it was mainly a Christmas hunt as well because I had presents to buy. You bought a couple of bits and bobs, and um, I I haven't been not in them. Uh, Ever. Yeah, I don't know if we're allowed <laughs> to say the name of the comic book shop because we don't want to get in shit or anything. Or well, we said it in the blog. Oh, did we? Yeah. Okay, so we went to Forbidden Planet in Nottingham, and uh, to be honest, um, I could have spent all day in there, if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the days where I just wish I had a fucking wallet full of money. <laughs> and if I didn't have to buy Christmas presents, I would have walked out with yeah. some fucking jewels when I you. when I go there with other friends that's the only place I want to go and then they want to go like bookshops and whatever <laughs> else and I'm there like can we fucking go yet and then they're just like you just spent fucking two hours in Forbidden Planet and you're moaning because we're spending ten minutes in a fucking water stones <laughs> <laughs> I think the, pro the problem is is there's so much in Forbidden Planet uh, that I, I even said to you when we were there I felt myself having to stand back to look at the stuff because I'm like I'm too fat for this You're aisle. In the world, yeah, yeah, I'm too fat for this aisle, man. But um, no, there was so much cool stuff in there. It's probably one of the better Forbidden Planets, and that's not slagging any of the others up. Yeah. It's probably one of the better ones I've been to. I, I think really dug it. I, I think really um, London one is my top, and not I, my I, second. See, the last time I went to the London one uh, again was with a couple of friends, uh, Mario and Brendan. I'm probably going back to about. 2008, 9 what? Yeah. oh we need to go we need to go we need to do a vlog on that one yeah we do because I haven't been there in nearly 10 years I think yeah. I, I know my way there mate oh do you I know off my heart yeah. awesome, like, awesome. Like, alright let's go that'll, um, be the, that'll hopefully be our next trip then yeah. hopefully we get in before Christmas um, we didn't really film anything in the, in the actual shops itself because they were small shops and we're not sure about the laws of filming yeah. inside stuff like that and like we didn't want to we didn't want to disturb anyone else and yeah while well, they were shopping um, shopping I will talk quickly about some of the stuff we saw um, when we went to Forbidden Planet um, like you guys know I'm a massive Batman the Animated Series fan and they just had the new release of the, the Batcave uh, figure set diorama yeah. with the Alfred figure oh that was a price I didn't face. even notice it it was the price. He stood at the actual till of the shop and he was talking to the guy behind the counter and he was talking there for hours and there was these three big boxes right next to the counter and I fucking wandered off and looked over shit and then I came back and Danny was on the other side of the shop and I looked down and I went, oh. <laughs> I look up at Danny and I'm like, Danny? And he's like, what? He's like, you didn't see this, did you? And I was like, see what? He comes over and he literally goes, <laughs> and, I'm a Macaulay Culkin dip yeah and he literally could have fainted on the spot I think he cummed in his pants a little bit and he fangirled screamed <laughs> and said he wanted it but um, I've got a weird habit as you now know um, I will go to the shop I want to go to first not buy anything just have a mooch have a look around then we'd like we did we pissed off and looked at other spots and that 
and then we returned to get the stuff we wanted to because that's yeah. how I like to do my shopping. I like to I like to look around first, see what's about. That's a good idea because if you go out, you might find better deals, so you might have, you might see something else. You're like, yeah, but I'd rather that other place. And because sometimes when you buy stuff, you go into another shop, you're like, I wish I've got that instead of that now. Yeah, and uh, like you'll see on some of these uh, the video inserts we're going to do um, when we went back to Forbidden Planet. I, I noticed another part of the animated series set has just been released the uh, the GCPD Rogues Gallery set and that was in the window and I didn't even fucking notice yeah, that we walked past time. the window where we went once twice to go back and then we went once and then it was on the th fourth time leaving that I noticed what, it that, that was the right, fourth time leaving the fourth time we walked past the window yeah um, that's when he noticed it and it was another Macaulay Corky moment <laughs> yeah just a did you know they were going to be released now because I thought that um, they were going to be released in a couple of months I, I knew it was November time but um, America obviously gets it earlier than us not by merch which I now know um, literally a couple of weeks because um, what I tend to do is I I myself check out YouTube videos of guys that actually do in depth reviews about this stuff and uh, before I purchase it myself and I've already seen a couple of Batcave reviews and uh, the Rogues Gallery review and I was like okay cool I know it's coming and yeah just to see it in the shop like that it just really took me back and I was like oh fuck but the problem is as Stephen knows and helped me with I purchased a few bits for the missus for Christmas so I really didn't have any disposable income to get some of the good stuff so you better be fucking grateful yeah I see you wee Jenny lad <laughs> I'm joking but um, yeah I, I was a little bit gay that I didn't walk away with anything but to be fair that back cave set was a fucking monster, wasn't it? Oh. That would have been a nightmare to take back on the train, especially that we, we had to catch a train <laughs> and us two fatties had to run. <laughs> we, we were like I 10 was, minutes I away. Was, I was like half like halfway ahead and I was there and I was like, I stopped for a minute and I looked behind me and it's there like, just go without <laughs> me. Nottingham's got me now. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go. The thing is, I'm more athletic than him, but I was gassed out my ass. <laughs> I, and to be fair as well, uh, people who know me know that my jeans fall down all the time. <laughs> I just buy it. And Jenny was like, well, you buy a fucking belt. <laughs> I look like I just robbed a bank because when I walk with pop vinyls, I don't like them getting hit. So I'm there like that, just running. <laughs> and people think he's got weapons. <laughs> No, it's a fucking baguette. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we had to we had to haul our asses to the train station, and we got on the train and we were just sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like twenty minutes of us going. <laughs> <laughs> we had our hats as well. <laughs> yeah. We were just spatting ourselves. You know, but yeah, it was a uh, it was a good time, man. It was yeah. it was a fun trip. Um, I definitely love to go down. I see the last time I went down to London was for the uh, the Comic NFCC. Yeah. Uh, and um, because you spend a lot of the day in the car, I didn't actually get a chance to, and I don't know London very well at all, so I didn't get a chance yeah. to go to Old Forbidden Planet. And yeah, so one one time, sometime in the near future, maybe after Christmas time, we'll probably yeah. save some money and we'll head down there. Yeah, well, we get Christmas monies as well, so probably mm. probably mid January we'll probably kick it down there, and yeah, and we'll we'll vlog that because mm. that would be a laugh. And I think Forbidden Planet there, it might be a bit easier to actually record reactions and shit inside because there's more people and whatnot. Yeah. But, but it's, but it's, we'll it's been so long because I think there. there's although I don't know because I swear there's a there's a camera no camera bit on the door somewhere because oh, of really? all of the hot toys and shit in there yeah but I'm not sure so I can't guarantee that but but yeah, yeah we'll we'll have a look into that um obviously this video is going to be edited quite a bit because uh, during this chit chats there's going to be inserts and stuff yeah. so uh, let's whip out Wait, shall we show them the actual vlog first and then show them what we got? Okay, we'll show them some vlog first. Yeah, so this is our very first Fat Pod vlog. Hope you enjoy it. It is a bit short, it is a bit like jumpy, but we had some fun with it, so have a look. Hello and welcome to Fat Pod's vlog. This is our very first vlog. We're going to go to comic book shops in Nottingham in the Uck. In the Uck. In the Uck. Danny's never been to Nottingham. He hasn't been to the Forbidden Planet in Nottingham. So, oh, gas that my ass. Yeah, it's, it's a walking thing, we don't really do that. But yeah, we're gonna check out some shops, get some pops. Are we just genuinely toy hunting? Yeah. 
And the Christmas shopping. Yeah. Well, I'm not, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For Jenny. For Jenny. Go into Paldland to get us my own play. That'll just do. Just give me a wee case of that, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll check back with you guys in a bit. Let you know what we've got. So we've just come out of Forbidden Planet and we went to a shop called Page 40... Was it Page 45? Page 45 here in Nottingham. Yeah. Um, page 45 was just basically comic books and there wasn't really, novels, yeah. wasn't really anything in there that like sparked any interest. Um, there's some stuff in Forbidden Planet. There's a um, Batman animated series. Man Bat. Man Bat, yep. Yeah. So we both might grab a copy of that and see what that's like. Because online they're eBay they're selling at like 30 quid but in there they're 15 quid a pop so bargain 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 and, uh, and then that leaves only one animated pop for me and that's the I think it's the DC collectible you know like the loot crate sort of things they do oh yeah yeah and that's Mr. Freeze and online at the minute he's spiked to like 70 to 90 quid that's gonna be hard to find yeah but I found when they did that before with the Batman v Superman pops yeah I found the armoured Batman for 40 quid cheap. So oh, fair enough, fair enough. Hopefully I'll find a freeze at some point. Yeah. So we're just going to go do some general shopping as it's near Christmas time, so we're going to do some Christmas shop. And then we're going to go back and get some bits that that we want. Yeah, uh, I also saw some stuff that I can't talk about because it's for the Mrs. Christmas. In so it's a secret. It's a secret. And the only other thing I'm looking for is... DC Icons Batman figure. Anything you're looking for? Um, no, there's nothing I'm really looking for in, in actual particular. I'm just I'm just having a nose. Just having a nose. Just having a nose. Salmon of butchers. Yeah. But yeah, I think so, we'll update you again when we get some stuff. Yeah. And let you know how we're going. Ooh, Burger King. Okay, right, we're, we're fat and we're tired. So we need McDonald's to keep us going on this walk around Nottingham. Again, not much of an update. I've got a Christmas present here. I can't really talk about it, and it's not really relevant to our show. So, I mean, I don't know what to go for next, man. Uh, I definitely want the man back part. I think we're gonna hit up there after. We're gonna check out a few more toy shops, see if we can find anything cool. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna flip you around, Stephen. So, for me, I might get that man back, and I wanna go back to Forbidden Planet. And I might have a look around for something else because when we went there, I didn't really fancy anything. But I might have another look, see what they got, and can update you then once I've decided. <laughs> <laughs> Give a sign off, man. Give a sign off. <laughs> this is what he's found. Right, we're back with another update, and we're both really fucking excited. Slash well, annoyed. Here. Yeah, well, he is. I'm, an, I'm annoyed. Basically, um, we're outside Forbidden Planet here in uh, Nottingham. Uh, found ourselves a couple of good finds. I, I managed to pick up, uh, well, both did, a Man Bat from the animated series set. A lot of people are selling them to like 30 odd quid online. We found it for 15. Not bad. Bargain. Um, it's a con exclusive, so even better. Uh, on my first, we, we've been here twice today because we had a first initial look around. Fair dues. When we came back, I noticed some of my collection which I haven't got yet and I just lost my fucking mind. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's the Batman the Animated Series GCPD Rogues Gallery set and it's 129 quid, which is a good, it's a good price, but again, it's like, oh, I wish I saw that. I wish it wasn't Christmas time so I didn't have to waste my money. And you can tell him why I lost my mind inside. Oh, it was. I, I actually saw it and I spotted it for him. It was the um, Batcave um, set with Alfred in from the animated series, and he lost his shit. Like <laughs> he could have fainted. He literally I, could have I, fainted. With I the am shock. up to date with my animated series set, and it didn't even occur to me that all this shit has just come out. So I, I'm behind again, and it fucking sucks. <laughs> He's so far behind. Yeah. But uh, what else did you pick up today, Stephen? Um, I got some pop vinyls from my collection. I've got an exclusive Peter Pan. I've got um, an Attack on Titan part for a friend of mine. Um, and I've got the Man Bat as well. Um, I'm, we're about to go to another shop. Hang on, though. This oh. is a special occasion for you because you hit 
200. You hit 200. I hit the pops. 200 mark on the pops, yeah. Yeah, so special yeah. occasion for Stephen right here. Yeah. Uh, where are we hitting now? Um, shall we go back and get that Pennywise pop? Pennywise. We found the Pennywise pop from the new It film. Um, I wasn't originally going to get it, but then I went with Danny and a friend of ours called Callum. We went to actually see it and I quite enjoyed it and I thought, I'm going to get that. So, <laughs> I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. So we're going to head there now. Um, when we get back, we will do a little show and tell of what we got as well. Some things are presents for Christmas stuff, so we can't show that. But we'll show as much as we can. And yeah, we'll probably... Are we going to do another update or shall we sign uh, off here? Yeah, I think we'll be signing off for our trip in Nottingham. Yeah. Uh, again, we're only going to get the Pennywise. So I think we're good and we shall see you guys when we do the actual video with all our goodies. Yeah, so we'll catch you in the next one and see you later. Hello and welcome back from the little vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, we had fun recording it, I'd say. It was just yeah, was a little good. quick fun video. We threw in some laughs in there, so hopefully you enjoyed it. But these are the stuff that I personally bought from Nottingham. <laughs> um, Danny also got a man bat, but he left us at home because he. I, he we he, don't he, need to show you two. Yeah, <laughs> they look they look the same. Mine's better. Mine's better. His sticker's peeling off. Danny's is better. <laughs> I've got a bigger collection than him. I've got a bigger dick than him. I've got a bigger belly than him. I've got more money than him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless his little cotton socks. Right. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's our folks now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Back to this. Um, these are some of the stuff that we got. We both got a man bat. I picked up a exclusive Peter Pan. Um, the problem is though, is we're not sure. It, it's got a silver exclusive sticker on it, but Hot well, Topic looks like it was the one that. Yeah, because when we look on Pan. when we looked online, it comes up with the Hot Topic sticker and not the sticker that's on this. So if you know which sticker we're on about, or if you can see it from all the way over there. Um, Please put it in the comments and let us know what it is because we're retarded and we don't know. Um, I picked up a Pennywise It Pop and I also picked up a Levi Pop from Attack on Titan for a friend of mine. Um, and yeah, this is this is what I bought. I mean, your pop collection is uh, far superior than mine. But again, you like a lot more crap than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would Danny's, never... Danny's pops will be when he shows it like in the future or whatever it's literally Batman 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 like you're shocked <laughs> <laughs> of course like, they know it's that do, do you even like Batman no I hate him but... <laughs> hello and welcome to Fat Pan <laughs> and knock the mic again but um uh, let's start with stuff we do know um the man bat pop will start from my left to right because because um, I know what man bat is <laughs> <laughs> and I could talk about it for days <laughs> you wonder why people don't like you <laughs> anyway um, the man bat pop uh, a friend of mine had to buy it online because it was a convention exclusive mm. uh, 2017 and he paid 30 quid for it now we Ooh. lucked out yeah we lucked out and there was a whole shelf of these man bats, fourteen ninety nine. So I was like, bargain. Yep, jump on that. Um, so yeah, I was really happy about that. Because I originally weren't going to get that, no. and you turned around to me and you were just like, dude, you got to. Have we seen the prizes? I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, get it. Steve, like, Stephen doesn't shop around very much like I do. So I'll um, just see things. I'm like, ooh, pretty. And just <laughs> get it. <laughs> yeah, if he sees it on eBay for thirty quid, he'd be like, "Ooh, I'll pay it." And it's like, "No, get it now while it's fourteen ninety nine. And then Danny but, sees um, another one like, "I just paid fifty, no, fifteen pound for that." Yeah, a friend of mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a friend of mine um, paid thirty quid for it. Like I said, um, I thought I was going to get end up getting this for Christmas, um, but now I don't have to. So. She doesn't have to waste 30 quid on something that I paid half for. So hmm. that's bargain for me. 
Um, I've got every single one of the animated series set now, except for the DC Legions collectible blah blah, Mister Freeze. Oh, I looked at that one because when you told me, I didn't. I honestly didn't know they brought out the Mister Freeze, mm. and I looked it up that no night. one did though. It slipped under the radar, and I looked it up. And I looked at it and I was like, oh my God, that's beautiful. Because even <laughs> even the little plasticky bit, I think, if I want to remember, they've made that so it's got a little bit of ice yeah, stuck to it. Frosted, it. And I was like, that is brilliant. And mm. I really want one. And I looked at the price. They're going for about 70. I, I mean, do, I do need it because I'm a completist as far as my collection is concerned. But yeah, man, that's, that's a lot of money for a pop. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big believer. I think the most I've ever spent on a pop is forty, I believe. And we're not good with say Stephen's prices. <coughs> no, I spent. I spent. What was your highest pop? I spent forty quid, I believe, on a Silent Bob. Well, are we talking about sets or singular pops? Single pop. What's the most you've spent? Now, single pops is a hard one to say because I, I like the Big Bang Theory. And when I found that they had pops out for them, I was like, I want them. Looked at the prices when I first started collecting, and I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to get them. And for those of you that don't know, on Facebook, there's sites where people sell pop vinyls on and whatnot from because they can't have it or they've got not no storage, need money, or whatever. And someone was saying, excuses. Yes, <laughs> non pop believers anymore. Um, and they this person was selling the whole set and someone already commented saying I just need like Sheldon or this person so they didn't have the complete set but they sold me the whole set and I was like that's pretty good and I think they sold me it for 120 I want to say but I can't remember but then I had wow. to buy Sheldon separately and I think I got Sheldon off someone for about 70 mm. I can't remember off the top of my head it was roughly somewhat, between 70 and 90 quid somewhere around there I won't go as high as 90, I'd go between about and 40 and 70, I'd okay. say. Somewhere around That's that That's a area. lot, man. That is a lot yeah. for one pop that you I know, but are never going to do anything with. I know, but oh, it's like it, the first lot was there for a good bargain. Like, yeah. they not, I think they did. And how can you have a big bang set without Sheldon? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some pop, see, you said a minute ago uh, about non pop believers. Do you believe that pops are slowly dying down? Mm. I feel like Isn't they're making more and they're not as valuable now because they're making more. I think because they're trying to throw in... Oh, it's hard, it's hard to explain from my point of view, but I think they're trying to throw in stuff that just to keep people interested, personally, because they did a bunch of Star Wars stuff. Like, you go into... <laughs> Forbidden Planet even in game and HMV and there's Star Wars everywhere and it's it's something that I didn't really collect I didn't really no. well, as a kid I loved Star Wars but then I didn't really kind of stick with all the new ones and whatnot. and they've gone Star off Star Wars them. is a, a, a rabbit hole you don't want to fall down as far as collecting is concerned oh there's so much stuff yeah. I mean um, I, see I think I hate to say it, I think Funko Pops, as much as I have, I, I believe I've got 100 plus in my collection. I know you you, ma you hit the magic 200 with this purchase. Yeah. Um, I think they're slowly dying down, man. Um, yeah. A lot of people, I don't know if you use the pop price guide, but every so often I'll add whatever new ones I've bought, which is very rarely nowadays. And the values are just going down, and I see more and more people selling off their collection. So mm. it's like, have they got a secret we don't know or have they just been like oh, fuck this yeah. I give up on it I mean it's a good example um, the chase it which apparently was mispainted or summit and it was recalled back or summit from what I've been told by mm. a, a guy who runs a comic book shop um, the chases that got out were normal prices in shops because they don't know any different apparently and they sold it for nine ninety nine. And people were snapping him up, and you remember that all over Facebook, every other post was, "I got my chase in the wild, found it in the wild, found it at Smith's, found it at Toys R Us, whatever they found it." Hey, Gen V. And um, now every single time I look on the pop on the pop page on Facebook, it's, I'm selling the net chase. Yeah, I'm selling it, but there's 
they were going for stupid prices a couple of weeks back. They were like 120 quid, 100 quid. Rarities. And they are, they're slowly dying down. I, I believe I saw one today uh, for 55 quid. So they are slowly dropping again. Like I believe people are just losing interest. Yeah. I think they're buying the chases thinking, this is going to make me rich. <laughs> and they're like, oh, actually, it's not. Although I think it's also because um, Funko are re- redoing some of them some of the original stuff yeah, yeah. And, and not even that it's like they're bringing out characters that we have but in a slightly different design but based on the film it's like Thor like I've got a Thor from the Avenger film mm. and I'm looking at Thor Ragnarok and they even though it's got his haircut he's got his armour and everything I'm just like yeah. I, I, I don't want it I don't need it yeah it's it's a hard thing to do with but that. then they are bringing out some really good ones like the Looney Tunes when they bought a Crash Bandicoot top cat, I think they're kind of on a balance here yeah. where they're like throwing I, I in some to, shit. I throwing said to you again, ones. Um, obviously you've got a hell of a pop collection and hopefully soon we'll do a video about that. But the original sort of batch of pops I told you the other day, I, I just thought were ugly. Like, they are all just in one pose. And I, yeah, I think they're quite ugly pops. I do like it now they're putting them in poses and stuff. Putting like them on stands. Yeah, I think like they look one. cooler. Um, yeah, because he's uh, this Peter Pan one's actually flying a little bit, and he's like elevated. Mm. Um, so I do think they're cooler. Um, there are some pops I keep seeing that I'm like, oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. Like uh, a latest batch for me would probably be the Home Alone pops, because I remember saying to yeah, me and Stephen have this running joke that uh, whenever we talk uh, about pops in a couple of weeks time they end up getting like look what's yeah. coming out and it'll be the pops we we've done about. it to Rugrat Top Cat Home Alone Power Rangers I well, know I think Power Rangers was already out yeah but they didn't have the black the blue because I remember saying uh, that I wanted the Megazord and I wanted them to bring up the other Power Rangers yeah, and they yeah. did sorry yeah um, yeah we sort of had hit a good luck charm with whatever ones we Hey Arnold I think they're coming out mm. we said that Mini yeah tunes, I, I think so one we've said too. that hasn't come out yet but I'm, I'm it's got a uh, recess. We spoke about that. Yeah, that'll be brilliant. Are you collecting recess if they come if out? If that comes out, yeah, I'm getting yeah. them. I want, I want Mikey to be a giant size one though, like the Mega Sword. <laughs> 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 Just because he was the big fat kid, you know, he deserves a big, massive, you know, pop. But um, <laughs> yeah, so some of the ones. And again, I know Stephen takes the piss, and uh, obviously you guys probably get bored of my Batman shit. But being a Batman collector, I think Batman is the one character that has the most pops. Like, as a single character. Single character, yeah, definitely. He has so many variants of pops and all that, and... Because uh, I remember you saying to me about... Well, this is this is how much I don't know about Batman, in terms of Batman stuff, and how I'm just getting into all of the stuff that Danny's, like, gradually showing me. Um, it's when they brought out the multicoloured ones... And you were like, oh, are you going to get that set? And I went, what the fuck would I want a pink Batman or a yellow Batman? Like, what the fuck's that? And it's like, no, that was actually, was it in the comics? It's in the comics. It's, like, it's actually in the comics. And I was like, oh, and then they actually brought it up on Google Images. We're just like, oh, see, told you. I was just like, yeah, oh. um, they have been really good to uh, use stuff that's actually happened. They've not made a whole lot up. They've made a few up. Uh, the imposter lines, which is a cool line, that's made up, obviously. Mm. Um, but yeah, most of them are actual, legit versions of Batman that have appeared in the comics or m- movies or whatever. And I don't, as much as I've got Batman was, I don't think I've even scratched the surface. If I'm honest, mm. I mean, I've seen some like metallic versions and all that, and I'm not, but I don't care about that shit. I don't. Are you getting the Batman rides? You're getting the ride pops. The only ride I want, unless they bring out an animated series one, is wait, the... Wait, wait. It's the, the Adam West Batmobile. It's the Adam West Batmobile. Uh, <laughs> but they've done a weird orange one with like a silver car and stuff. I don't want that one. I just want the bog standard black Batmobile with the little Adam West pop in it. That'll be the one and only ride I pick up as far as Funko Pops are concerned. Unless they make animated one or a Michael Keaton one. Mm. But yeah, I'm not overly fussed about it. The Turtles van looks pretty cool. Our mate Jay's got that. Yeah. That's a pretty cool um, Funko ride. But yeah, I'm not really too bothered. But let's um, let's go back to it quickly because we can sort of do this in one video. Um, Stephen wasn't familiar with the original film. 
or the book or anything. I'll be honest with you, I don't like horror films. I'm a pussy when it comes to them. I literally sat in the cinema watching the It film like this. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, he's not lying. Um, (laughs) We had to hold his hand a couple of times. Um, uh, I'm a fan of the original It film. Thought it was great back in the day. Tim Curry, great job. Uh, I've never read the book. It's over a thousand pages. I don't think I've got the patience for it. There's a lot of words. <laughs> There's no pictures. I'm a comic book guy. I need pictures with my words. Um, but I, I really dug the new film. Uh, have you? Did you watch the old one yet? No, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, right, I'll lend you that. I'll lend you. I'll lend him the old one. He'll watch it and be like, "This is scary." <laughs> but yeah, the the new it film I thought was really good. And Bill Skarsgård as um, Pennywise the clown did a brilliant job. Yeah, a brilliant job. I, I dug the film. I'm looking forward to a part two. The only thing is, I don't think the story is going to work as well with them being adults because it's set. It will be set 27 years or 30 years later, depending mm. on what one they do. I don't think it's going to work as well because you can understand little kids being scared of a clown, but when you're adults, I know that people do have fear of clowns. I know this, and they've even got a word for it, which escapes me. Do you know it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't think you know grown ass people who beat this clown when they were kids are going to be too scared of him even though we know Pennywise isn't actually a clown he's a evil entity or whatever from mm. thousands of years ago or millions of years ago um, yeah I'd, I am looking forward to it but I don't think it'll be as good as the first one Yeah. and this this one at the end the Attack of Titan I've never even heard of this you've not heard of that Oh, was it, was it a game? Um, or? Attack on Titan is an anime um, that a friend of mine introduced me to, and I have got the set from the first wave, but I haven't got any of the second one yet because I'm still looking for them. They've got um, Annie Lionheart out, and they've got the two um, big ones out, the female Titan and the armor Titan, I believe, yes. And um, But I haven't seen any of the characters. I haven't seen a normal Levi, an Armin, what's the other one? I haven't seen a Sasha, and... Yeah, we're still looking because a friend of mine loves Attack on Titan and I said to him that if I see one, I'll pick it up for you and I saw this in Forbidden Planet and I, r- I rang him up, woke him up. <laughs> I made good on my promise. <laughs> I've done you proud. <laughs> and I saw it and I was like, do you want me to get it for you? And he's like, oh yeah, go on then. So I picked it up and... I, like, I, Fuck I, off, I'm sleeping. Yeah. Go away. <laughs> I wish I got one for myself now because I... It's one of them. Cause, oh no, that's what I did with that Joker pop that we were speaking about earlier. Um, you, he, I bought him a Joker pop one time because he needed it, and I put it on my collection. Because when I get people pops, I put them in my collection just so I know that they're there and they're safe. <laughs> <laughs> Not that yeah, I've got more. Yeah, <laughs> it's there for a minute. <laughs> and then I saw it and I was like, that looks really fucking good there. That looks really good. I'm going to buy one and I went out and I bought one and I've done the same with this one like I've put it on my shelf and I looked at it and I was like it's going to look good with the set I need one so when I, I love how you're looking up like a proud moment yeah I'm going to get that the funny thing is it was actually I'm on that side of me as well that actually looked up because like, the set's over this way I can't wait to play with that pop I can't wait to wank <laughs> over that pop we've already seen you do that yeah flashback <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, as far as um, um, some of the other stuff we bought, um, I can't really tell you again because we said it was Christmas presents. Um, I did get a couple of good bits from Forbidden Planet. They are <laughs> shock animated series related, but they're not for me to say. Right what we'll now. do though is, as their Christmas presents, when once we've passed Christmas and these people have got the stuff we'll bring them on and we'll show you what they got and then we'll be like do you remember that episode where we went to Nottingham <laughs> they'll be like fuck no <laughs> I skipped through that video it was shit. I stopped subscribing <laughs> <laughs> there's a better video somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> they talk about articulation <laughs> but um look how we moved it down oh shit <laughs> <laughs> 
He's not even joking, man. You want to see this guy shit himself when somebody goes near any of his stuff. <gasps> oh. Leave it! Leave it! <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was a time we, we did a practice test of a hot toy mm. and you picked it up. You were like, it's got his cake the one way around and you were trying to take his head off and you were just like, don't worry, I won't break it. And I was like, you better fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, uh, as far as... I've, I've had an idea for an episode as well and I'll say it by my camera. Uh, do you plan on getting me anything this year for Christmas? Just a little saying saying. I'll get you a little saying saying. We'll do a live, not live, but we'll actually open it on the videos. That would be pretty nice. Be live. That would be pretty so, nice. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, so I'll give you your present, you give me my present, and we'll actually open it for the show. So we can actually react and you can, when you turn around, I'll be like, fuck is this? We're just going to see how many bites Danny can take out of a cheeseburger. One. Two. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Three. Um, I just want to throw in a bit of pop news because I don't know if people are actually aware of this, but I have got a few friends who probably watch this that would like to know. But another anime pop that is coming out is Yuri on Ice. I don't know if you've heard of that one. No. Yuri on Ice? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it Batman? Uh, no, then fuck no. off! <laughs> They're bringing out, um, I don't even know the characters' names. <laughs> They're bringing uh, out Yuri, obviously. I've got some um, news for you, but I'm only going to tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, you can find it out on the Pop Price Guide. Or is it pop in the pop in the box? Do they do yeah, pop they in do the box, yeah. stuff? Yeah, so go check them out. They look really cool. I won't be getting them because I don't watch it real nice, but they're bringing out. Let's let's try before this video ends. Let's quickly try and think of something we want and good luck ourselves for pops because we've done so well in the past. Quick set, other than recess. What do you want? Don't do this to me on the spot. Quick, 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 quick. You go first. Uh, 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 no, because everyone will know what mine is. Batman! Yeah, yeah. Batman movie ones. The original Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher pops. Mm, mm, yep, mm. that'll do me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Good one. Um, Pardon me. I, I think I'm going to have to stay another video because I can't think on the spot. I need to have a thing. What a letdown. I need to have a thing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Fat Pod. Uh, we're going to catch you next time. Take it easy, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know what you think in the comments below. No hate. And find out what this sticker is, if anyone knows. Yeah, what the fat dude said. That's not me. But take it easy, guys, and we'll see you again next time. Peace. Peace.